If Bigger doesn't yell, there's no penalty. If he yells at a different referee, the referee goes, don't yell at me. It just happened to be the psychology of that moment. So all of a sudden, Wales kick down into the 22, win another penalty and kick three points and they're three nil up in the game. I was doing a, a, a European Cup game in Claremont. It was a crazy game and Bordeaux were doing really well. I was scoring lots of tries. I was going, oh my God, Claremont never lose at home. What the hell? I, this is not going to go well for me if they lose at home. <laughs> they never lose at home. But they were doing really well. They decided on, the, on a five-meter line-out to do a non-compete defense where they all step away. Now, you'll see teams do this, but no one in their right mind does it on their goal line. But the French, you know, they might do it on their goal line. And they send uh, um, Sokope Kepu, around, the London Irish boy, around the corner to take the ball out of the mall. So I penalise him thinking it was already a maul and I yellow card him for, well, it's a maul, it's a clear stupid error, you're five minutes in your goal line, I'm yellow carding. And they started shouting me in French, my French is okay, and they, they, you know, they started telling me it was a non-compete line out. And I was like, what are they saying, non-compete? No. Oh, uh-oh. And I looked at the screen as, as Cope was running off and they showed the replay of how they had done a non-compete line out and the ball was through touch and I had screwed up. And I was thinking, <laughs> oh no. So Bordeaux were winning by 20 points this stage. Seven minutes later, John Fox Davies has scored a hat trick and <laughs> Claremont are winning. And I'm going, oh no, the yellow card has happened. Three tries later, Claremont going to win. Joe Worsley's standing on the sideline and he's going to crush my skull. He's going to get his hands and he's going to crush my skull. I know that's going to happen. So anyway, the game goes on back and forth. Bordeaux, Bordeaux do really well and, and they get back in front. All Claremont had to do to advance was get two points. All they need to do is chip a penalty over. I gave him a penalty in front of the sticks. Para tapped and went, dived over the goal line, knocked the ball on, and Claremont were out over the European Cup. The funny thing is, they give you a wheel of cheese in the dressing room in France after the game. <laughs> so I come in before the game, it's a nice wheel of cheese present, a little bow on it before the game, the towels are there, the fruits are there. I came in one minute after I blew the final whistle. There was no cheese, <laughs> there was no towels, there was no fruit. Someone had gone into my dressing room and taken it all out <laughs> and just left me with nothing. <laughs> you can shower in the cold, you can do what you want, even though it was Morgan Parra's fault. Yeah. And that's France for you. It's never Morgan's fault. That was the thing in Claremont. It was never Morgan's fault. <laughs> no. Here's, here's, a, here's, a, here's a good example. So I was watching the England-Wales game today. And it has nothing to do with a criticism of anyone. It's just a situation and just a look at the psychology of refereeing. Three, five minutes into the game, really important time. And Toji gets the guy, wraps him up, pulls the ball off him as he's going down. Toji's knees on the ground, the guy's falling. It's literally a 50-50 call. You can say, well, Toji, you've done so well. You've smashed him. You've taken the ball. I don't think the Welsh players would have had too much of a problem at that being a turnover. Dan Bigger being Dan is three yards from the ref as, as normal. Shouts because he's a very, very bright guy. And he's obviously good friends with Ben Whitehouse and he knows his law and he's not stupid. He doesn't shout stupid things. But he's quite aggressive when he shouts. He does shout stupid things now and again. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but Toji rips the ball with his knee just touching the ground, but it's milliseconds. It's, there's nothing in it. Bigger yells, the referee reacts and gives a correct penalty. If Bigger doesn't yell, there's no penalty. If he yells at a different referee, the referee goes, don't yell at me. It just happened to be the psychology of that moment. So all of a sudden, Wales kick down into the 22, win another penalty and kick three points and they're 3-0 up in the game. That's the 50-50-ness of refereeing. You've been watching the House of Rugby Season 3 on Joe.